We often say that we import a uh, problem from the U.S. Uh, racism doesn't stop at the border. We have, it's, it's not the same thing, but we're not in a, in a competition to be less than the worst. But for us, it's just to have, to be able to, to, to be listened to. Uh, we're facing some disparities. Um, there's stuff that needs to be changed. There's stuff that needs to be improved. If we don't talk about them, it's not going to improve. So for me, when I say it's, a, it's, it's, it's not going to change anything, doing this won't change anything, won't make the, all the disparities disappear. But it's, 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 it's important for us to just express how we feel. So, and then people need to listen and take actions after that. Well, it's, it's a nice feeling to you know, be able to cover it to such a big scale, you know, to really feel that you're making a difference in your own city and to be able to do it with art and work with, with other art, artists. I hope this project will make sure that to respect black people as they are, no matter what they look like, what their gender is, what their status is, if they're poor, if they are a doctor, whatever, just respect black people's lives and do not treat them like a third class citizens. You know, we are, everyone is human. It's just that generally because of criminalization and white supremacy, like people disrespect black people's lives, especially black women's lives. So.